For the second time in less than 10 years, parts of the U.S. will experience a total solar eclipse. We've got you covered as we prepare for an incredible celestial event. First, we answer the question, what is a solar eclipse? A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun. Now, as this happens, the shadow of the moon gets cast on the face of the Earth. The path of totality is the region where viewers from Earth will see the moon completely cover the sun. This path extends from central Mexico through Texas, the eastern Great Lakes, and all the way to Newfoundland. Although the Gulf Coast does not fall under the path of totality, the partial solar eclipse will still be quite a sight. The percent of totality or the amount of sun covered by the moon will range from 75 to 82 percent with the highest amount over Greene County, Mississippi and Washington County in Alabama. The partial eclipse will begin around 1234 p.m. on Monday, April 8th. At this point, the moon begins to cover the face of the sun. The maximum eclipse will hit around 1.54 p.m. At this time, nearly 80% of the sun will be covered, creating a solar crescent. The moon will then move away with the eclipse ending at around 3.12 p.m. Now to watch the eclipse, you of course need the right eyewear. When buying solar glasses, look for the designation marked ISO 12312-2. This ensures that the glasses are built to the right specifications to keep your eyes safe while looking at the sun. Do not use glasses that are scratched or damaged. Never look at the sun directly through an unfiltered device like a pair of binoculars or a telescope. And do not view the sun through a looking device while using your solar glasses. So grab your glasses and enjoy this celestial sight. And then mark your calendars for August 12, 2045. That next total solar eclipse will pass right over the Gulf Coast.